What is going on? Strat Soldier here bringing you the What Had Happened report where we wrap up the price action for the week and tell you what had happened. Rob Smith used to do these all the time last year during February and March and April when no one knew what was going on. They were pretty fun. So I asked our Strat Commander in Chief, can I start doing these again? And he said, go for it. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not a full-time trader. I am not a financial advisor. You are responsible for your own money and your own trades. You do you. I will not be telling you where to put your money, okay? All I'm doing is trying to help you show, excuse me, all I'm trying to do is show you the strat. Help you slow it down, help you see it. Again, just to help you see it. We'll be looking at actionable signals, time frame continuity and broadening formations. That's it, all right? So let's go up here. Here is my time frame continuity. Here's all four time frames up here: the month, the week, the day, and the 60s. Okay. What do you see? Green on the month, red on the week, red on the day, red on the 60s. All right, that was not a time to buy things. Okay. So let's look up here. Let's go to this one. I got our candles labeled for the kids out here that are new to this. All right. We'll be talking about the scenarios. Let's we always start at the month. Okay. Always start at the month. What do we got? Scenario two up on the month for February. Now, because of the last two weeks, it brought it in to form a shooter. The question for March is: will that shooter go in force below 370? That's the question. All right. If that price, if we don't have a gap up or a gap down before march 1st right here this is where the price is going to be and it's going to start inside month it will open inside month if there's no gap up and gap down but let's see what happens okay we always let them open so that's february let's look at the weeks let's look at the weeks here's february 1st let's zoom that in a little bit for you february 1st everybody came in guns a blazing February 1st, right here. You can see that 3-2 reversal to the upside right here. 2-2 two, two continuation the second week of February. Third week of February, February 16th. Also 2-2 two, two continuation up. Then they started taking profits. That created a 2-2 two, two reversal here the last week of February. 2-2 two, two reversal that went in force right below get that on there 387 you can see that i'm gonna hold it there for you so you can see it just for a second okay again slowing this stuff down not talking fast these last two weeks you can see they bought the buyers were in here for the first two weeks of the month all right the second two weeks of the month those are red those are sellers okay all right you can see that easily i know you can uh, right here, this is the last week. This is whenever this is the two to reversal to the downside that we were talking about. Um, when everybody was, uh, you know, the bears out there, you know, it's gonna crash, it's gonna crash. You know, we were saying, well, it, it's not gonna crash unless we see a reversal on the weekly. Well, here's your two to reversal on the weekly. You want to short some stuff, that was your time to do it. Okay, uh, let's look at the broadening formation for the week. Zoom this out here. Now, if you can see, you can see easily that for me to draw a bottom, the bottom of this broadening formation, I'm gonna have to zoom out pretty far, okay? So this thing, SPY did not get wrecked, okay? It would have to come all the way down to 370, okay, or lower for us, for us to really just, you know, oh my gosh, you know, this thing is crashing, okay? So don't listen to people that are talking about, you know, the SPY is crashing because it's at the top of the broadening formation, you know? Uh, don't don't listen to those guys um, but you do you of course so again two three two reversal on the weekly beginning of february okay that calls a two two continuation okay the first two weeks you can see that first two weeks of the month second two weeks of the month that's easy right all right let's go down to the dailies on the spy Go down to the dailies. Let's zoom this out. 
we always look at all the all the time frames at once but uh, let's get our extended where you at grab this guy right here let's draw this broadening formation boom okay now got the top and the bottom okay see how the price kind of it's kind of tight here and then it kind of unwinds that's price discovery all right did it make it all the way down here no all right but it could we'll see what happens we'll see what they want to do we'll see what they want to do but this is price discovery on the dailies okay let's go to the 60s again just slowing this down so everybody can see it all right anything important on the 60s i really want you to see not much okay um i do want you to see that you know everybody asks what do you do when it when the price gaps down when you open when you come in into this you know the morning and the prices gap down look for the reversals back up always okay you see a two two one two reversal right here all right let me zoom that in so you can see that when the spy opens up and the market opens up way down here look for the reversals back up and then also look for that in your stocks as well on your watch list okay here's right here here's your two one two reversal okay you can see that let's do it again scenario two inside bar scenario two back up okay that reversal went in force right here okay the candle to get in on this is right here i'm gonna hold that there just for a second you can see that okay this stuff's not hard especially on the 60s this thing took one two three four hours to, to line up okay the four hours to actually three hours to set up four hours to actually go in force uh, at 12 30 eastern standard time okay and that was at 389 Okay, there's the price. You can see that. I'll hold that there for a second. All right. Again, when the price gaps down like this, wait for the reversal back up. Don't buy here. Don't buy here. Okay. I'm not showing you how to buy the dip. I'm showing you how to get on in on a reversal back up. Here's another one. Now this one was kind of ugly. Okay. But then again, two, one, two, reversal here. Bam. Okay. Now it was kind of wonky and ugly. Okay. At 1130, but 1230, you know, it would have been okay. It would, depending on your stops and your account size, would that have stopped you out? Sure. But maybe not. Okay. I am not here to tell you how to do that. I am showing you a two one two reversal back to the upside it worked all the way up until 13 30. that's military time i'm sorry 1 30 eastern standard time and then right at 2 30. let's move that thing right at 2 30 bam if you were going long this bar goes two two reversal to the downside you can see that okay let's zoom it in i see what i see that scenario there kind of got flubbed up there um so this yellow line would be where i got in this one right here was where i would cut it okay let's make this one green let's make this one red slowing this stuff down so you can see it that's all i'm doing okay uh, no indicators no wedges no anything else if you do that good 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 okay i'm only showing you how to get in gap down two one two reversal back up and then cut it right here that's all i'm showing you all right switch to the dailies if you would have held that what had, what had happened what would have had happened <laughs> oh man Oh, right here. All right. Green line 
would have got in at red line would have got cut you know stopped out all right let's go back to the week let's zoom out to the week what would that have what would it look like it would have looked like this all right this is the end of the week if you got in on that green line and just held it you would have got wrecked i don't want you to get wrecked do not want you to get wrecked slowing this down for you all right diamonds dow jones let's look at them what did they do all right look at that broadening formation forming an outside week oh my goodness let's start the month let's do it right let's do it right all right scenario two up on the month still there still there green okay now Dow if it stays right there diamonds are gonna open up inside month okay will it stay there don't know we'll find out the weeks same thing we saw on the spy same thing we saw on the spy they bought it up for two caused the two two reversal to the upside in February they bought it up for two weeks Here's the third week. That was that short week. Then this last week, February 22nd, started as a scenario two up, and then they took profits and it just, whoo, oh my goodness. Okay. You could see that forming a definite shooter on that week. Here's your broadening formation. The question is, will this go in force next week below? 309.45. You can see that there. I'll hold that there for a second. 309.45. If it goes, but if it goes below that, that's not a time to go long. Okay. If you want to work puts, that's on you. You want to do it below that shooter. You want to do it below that shooter. All right. Let's get rid of that. QQQ, what happened at, on QQQ? The NASDAQ. Going back to the month. What was that green line? Get out of there. Get out of there, green line. <laughs> Look at that month. Shooter on the month. Red. You can see that, okay? All right, you don't need indicators. You don't need a bunch of crazy things. You don't need volume shelf. People do use that stuff and it helps them and that's good. But for me, I see that shooter closed as a shooter next month. What am I looking at? Will it go in force below 310 $310.93. $310 I'll hold that there for a second so you can see that. That's the question. very easy very slow look at the weeklies you can see the same thing on the spy on the on diamonds and qqq they bought it up the first here's the first two weeks february 1st february 8th three two reversal second week two two continuation up that third week, it did go two up, but then it started failing. As soon as it crossed this, it became an outside bar. I'm gonna point that out here soon. All right, let's do this. Bam, outside bar. Okay, because it took out the it took out both sides of this, the top and the bottom. Here's last week. This week we just had. This was a short week, okay? But this last week just had taking profits taking it all right easy 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 and that is what had happened uh these will be a lot more faster paced this will be a lot more fun um uh, faster paced meaning uh you know i don't know this is my first recording <laughs> so it'll be better 